Hello, welcome again in the Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation tutorial series. In this video tutorial series, now we are talking about data types and in this particular video, we will be talking about base enumeration or in the short form, it is also called as base enum. So first, we will understand what is base enum, then we will proceed in the practical session how to create a base enum and how you can use that particular base enum in your code so without wasting time let's start so now we'll look at some examples then it will be clear that what is base enum and what is the real life uh, scenario where we can use this particular base enum here in this slide you can see that in if you already use the Microsoft team in the status section you can select available busy do not disturb be right back happier way happier offline so this particular example is a kind of example of base enumeration so in the base enumeration data type you can store uh, this kind of literals or the string values but in the back end these values will be represented as the uh, integer value or the numerical value so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 like this so if there will be more number of options uh, so it will follow uh, it will start with 0 and 1 2 3 4 so on also you can see uh, here you can select a drop down drop down list like this choose a car so you can choose volvo uh, this kind of mercedes and audis these cars also you can select also us and no options in dynamics 365 you can also able to see this kind of button which is also called a toggle button so all these type of functionalities which is based on drop down yes and no and uh, from a uh, few lists of options you have to select particularly one that time base enumeration actually used so in a specific way what is actually base enum so base enum is a, a list of literals with a assigned values okay these values are actually numerical value and uh, whatever you will be able to see uh, in the front end that will be the string values or the labels of that particular uh, string value the second point is saying that enum values are represented internally as a is, is integer internally as integers and they are stored in the database as a number instead of the value value means the string or the label which is useful because it saves space and the and first literal has the number zero the integer value zero and the next one and next has the number one and the so on if five will be there then the value will be zero one two three four this way the third point is saying that you will need to create you will need to create a base enumeration in the visual studio before you can use them in the x plus plus code so it is very much important if you want to write the code using the base enumeration first you have to create the base enumeration in visual studio the last point is saying that enum can be used as integer in the expression so if you already know about the field fix and related field fix then you can see there i have used uh, integer uh, expression values 0 and 1 to represent the base enum okay so that is why it is saying the enum can be used as a string integers in the expression when you are writing code also whenever each literal or the enumeration is assigned to a text value through label or the name properties so i'll show you how you can create uh, the name of a uh, literal and you can assign the text value uh, in the level section I'll show you that one and that property is displayed to the user in the finance and operation user interface 
the system automatically displays the conversion in the user interface so no one so no more programming is required on the form that displays to the user so now uh, let's go to the practical session how we can create the base enum how we can use that in the code so for the pra practical example i'll create a uh, enum like this one to show the status uh, so let's start so here you can see that i am inside the vm now i'll take a notepad and inside the notepad i'll write the status all the status which is which i want to create okay after that i'll select the um, visual studio and i'll run it as ad administrator to create a new project so here i'll click create new project i'll select finance and operation then i'll click next in here i'll give the name and after that i'll click create so you can see that our project created now here is the solution here is our project now we add a new item so here is our new item right click again and then after that add a new item then from dynamics 365 item you just select data types and from here you can create either create base enum or you can create a edt enum this is what is the difference between this one and this one uh, this is a normal base enum and this one is the uh, extended data type or extended data type for the enum so at this point of time we are just creating uh, this particular base enum only and i'll give the name of the name of the base enum is present uh, present status okay and after that i have to click okay now you can see that present status have created in the is failure in the flip management and if you want to see the status uh is that uh, it will the style will be combo box so if you want to change this it it will be a uh, particularly like if you want it as a radio button so you can also do that and if you uh, want to make it the combo box then and then, then select the combo box so by default it will be combo box and there will be a literal values usage you can give the configuration key here if um, you are uh, your project following the configuration key okay and here is the if it is extend extensible you can uh, uh, make it as a yes and if you don't want then uh, you, you can select the false so this kind of are available for the uh, base enum so after that you can create a new item over here so i'll create the right click on the uh, present status enum and after that add a new item and from here you have to give the name you have to give the name of the element so for that i will copy and paste so i'll give the name as a available also also i have to give the label also available okay so it's very much important so these two these two actually mandatory field so you have to give uh, configuration key if you are uh, uh, working in a particular project in a particular module uh, then a particular configuration key uh, is important if it is based on the license version okay after that again i have to create one more item uh, sorry one more element so for that i am creating this one this time i'll keep busy again i'll paste it here busy now i'll create the third one do not disturb and here you can just keep the space in the label okay if there will be multiple words then you can give the space in between the words in the label section so it is not best practice to give the label like this static value always uh, create a label file and use that particular label file and um, inside this label value okay so if you don't know what about label file how to create it and what is the use of the label file you can see our label file video and there i explain each and everything about the labels okay after that you have to create a new item 
over here so now i'll give it be right back so just i'm just writing be right back and in the level section you can paste it over here or you can just type and give a space after that we'll create one more item and for this one i'll type appear away and in the level in the level you can paste it and it is giving some error over here so paste it again and create one more this one is for offline so just save it now for save you can save all at a once if multiple objects are there or also you can click this button to save okay and if you if you um, want to see the properties so you can see that so if you can see that uh, i'm just providing only the labels and the name okay now how we can access this particular present status in um, in our code so for that i'll just create a new item and at this time we'll uh, click on the code and i'll take a rdmbl class to access this that particular enum and this time i'm just giving rdmbl class to access and then after that click add so here you can see our class object created now i'll take a variable that present status as a data type present status you can see it is uh, giving the intelligence from the intelligence we can see it now take a variable name as status give a semicolon and after that now type here status status equals to after that type the name of the enum and after that if will keep the double semicolon you can see uh, here each and every enum value is appearing so actually it's uh, so you can take any of them after that you can keep the semicolon so if you want to print it how you can uh, print this one so here you can see that uh, the program is actually executing so so this way you can uh, check of the enum type so present status is the uh, actually a base enum type and which is a status and if you will uh, assign the value appear way okay then you will be able to if you want to print that one using the percentile in one and a status so you'll be able to see each and uh, sorry if you will be able to see the value inside the um, appear way whatever the value present inside the level you can see that in the front end okay so this way you can access so if you, you are, if you want to create multiple uh, variables so how we can do that so here you can give the name as a status one you can give the status two you can give the status three like this so you can create this way but you have to give the name here status one to print the result so this way now here now now here uh, i want to show one more example how you can use the enum in the practical scenario okay so as we know that a particular uh, enum may contain a different list of value you can use that in the switch statement so if you don't know about switch so switch is actually take a particular value and based on that particular value it will go to a particular case and it will execute whatever the value or whatever the code or logic you have written there it will go directly there and execute that and after that it will break up from that case okay so in the first line i have i have taken present present status and this is a type enum and i have created a created a um variable status and inside this status i'm just inserting do not disturb value 
uh, from the present status enum so it will take that do not disturb and after that i am creating a switch statement inside that uh, you can see it. one two three four five six total six cases are there based on the enum value so i want a particular message for a particular um case so if it will be appear way then i want to print hi all i am appearing way if it is offline then it will show a message that hi all i am appearing way or it should be appearing offline uh, this is a mistake i just copied and paste that's why uh, it is actually way it should be offline and after that when it will be available so it will show a message hi all i am available and after that you can see for this case i am just accessing b right back from the enum value directly using double column and here you can see hi all b right back after that if it will be z um, status then it will show a message hi all i am busy and after that at the end do not disturb or do not disturb i am just printing out hi all please do not disturb so based on the particular value of your status current status it will show the result so i'm just accessing the do not disturb so what we what it will do it will directly go to which case it will go to this particular do not disturb case and it will print i all uh, please do not stop uh, do not disturb me so if the value will be available then this message will be printed if uh, it will be busy then hi all if this is status value status value is available then it will print hi all i am available if it is busy then it will print hi all i am busy okay so at this point of time you can see the value of the status is do not disturb so it will directly go to here and it will print so i'll show you the result from the front end so here you can see uh, when you will execute this code it will show hi all please do not disturb so this way you can use uh, the particular uh, enum in your code also you can uh, based on your condition or based on your business logic whatever the business is actually working based on that you can use this space when enum in your conditions to check in so you can also check in if else statement also you can uh, use the use it in the while loop so based on the positions or the condition you have to use the base enum so i hope this is clear for you and it should be offline so first i have to stop uh, otherwise you will not be able to edit so yes i'll i'm just saving it so this way you can uh, use it so there are various types of functions available to convert integer uh, sorry to convert data from enum to string string to enum so you can check that um, from the documentation or if i'll get the time i'll make that separate video of how to convert this particular enum to a string or a string to enum also you can check that also no issue so thanks for watching this video so i hope the concept of base enumeration is now clear and you have uh, i have shown this particular example also discuss each and every point over here so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next video